a beautiful day right now. It's a beautiful day to be alive, y'all. This is how we breaking fast today. A salad with some drumsticks and some anime. We're currently watching Sengoku Yoku. I already prayed, so let's dig in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, shit. Peace, peace, and welcome to day 87 of 101 Vlogs. And if you're new here, I have been posting every single day since January 1st. And my goal is to post 101 daily vlogs. And of course, as you can see, we are extremely close to that mark. The purpose of it, consistency, and just to be disciplined when it comes to this YouTube stuff. Because for a long time, I've been trying to grow a channel. I've been trying to curate a community. I've just been trying to put myself out there on the internet and actually, you know, stick to the word. And I think for the first time ever, I am accomplishing that. So kudos to me. But yes, if you're new here, though, please hit that subscribe button. I would appreciate you. Join the family, y'all. I post every single day. And, um, you know, I'm not going to front. It's not anything extravagant just yet. But I just want to show y'all a different form of, you know, life. The real one. You know, the mundane, the original, the random reflections, the going through certain emotions, the finding solutions for everyday things. You know, that's why I'm here for. I want to show y'all that. Regular people like me and you can exist in the internet and we don't have to have this lavish lifestyle. Don't get me wrong, though. The point is to eventually live lavish and monetize this channel. At one point, it wasn't. But now I'm starting to feel like, you know what? Confident. I'm starting to believe in myself. A lot of people keep telling me they can see this going crazy and yada, yada, yada. And I'm starting to believe them. So, yes, please remember to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Drop some comments in the comment section. And uh, yeah, I would appreciate y'all for that. Did y'all subscribe yet? All right, y'all. So I came to check my mail because it says I got a package and I'm waiting for stuff. I don't know if y'all watched my other videos, but I've been saying I'm going to Tulum. And I've just been doing a little shopping here and there. What is this? Nice, nice, nice. I got it. Package is secure and safe. I, hope, I got a whole bunch of, I got a bunch of random shit that I just throw away every time. But what I came for is here, and that's all that matters, right? Let me clip this. Let's clip the mic right now. But yeah, y'all, I'm excited for this trip. I'm going to keep on saying this because low-key, outside of visiting the motherland, it is my first time really going out the country. First time ever. And I'm super excited about that because, you know, I get to experience something new. It was it's one of my goals this year to visit at least two different countries, and this is one of them. And it's, I don't know, man, it just feels good to cross things off of your just list. Also, just a reminder, it's never too late to set up some goals and milestones that you want to hit for the year of 2024. You could start literally a month before the year ends, and you could still accomplish everything. So just want to remind somebody out there that, you know, it's never too late, y'all. You can still make goals and you can still achieve them. Very much doable. But to stay on track, yes, Tulum, first time going out the country for real, for real. It was on my list. I'm excited for it. And, you know, my boy keeps sending me videos and TikToks of restaurants we're going to go to and shit we're going to do. And it's just like, yo, I'm excited, super excited. But um, not to really focus on me, I would love to remind anybody out there under the sound of my voice and whoever's watching this video to just, you know, do something different. Challenge yourself, even if it makes you uncomfortable. Put yourself in a situation where all you can do is grow and experience something new outside of the norm comfort zone you have gotten accustomed to, you know? Because, how's it going? How you doing? Good. Enjoying this nice weather. Yeah, that's a beautiful walk down there. Oh. That's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, just sitting and reflecting a little bit. Yeah, I saw the weather's great. Talk to work. Five o'clock, I'm out. I'm going to take advantage. Exactly. <laughs> Enjoy your day. You too. Thank you. Just randomly talk to somebody real quick. Small talk is good. But as I was saying, y'all, you know, put yourself out there. Do something new. Get uncomfortable a little bit. Like, yeah, it's not going to feel good. You might, you might be a little apprehensive. You might be a little tight around the edges. But putting yourself in those situations, only good things can happen. I mean, don't get me wrong. 
if you're putting yourself in a bad, uncomfortable situation, then that's different. Of course, bad shit is going to happen. But for the most part, like if you haven't really traveled and you've been dying to travel, stop waiting on people. Just go do something. Go by yourself. Start small. Take a road trip, maybe to the next state or the next city or, you know, buy the first flight to whatever fucking country you've been wanting to go. If you've been, you know, going, if you've been working out at home, maybe start working out in a real gym. If you have been, you know, I don't know. I I can't think of anything else at the moment right now. But put yourself in a situation where you're just allowed to, where you're only allowed to experience new things for your character development and growth. This is definitely the year of expansion. This is definitely the year to, you know, get yourself outside of that box that you've been living in. This is definitely the year to break cycles. This is definitely the year to meet new people. This is definitely the year to achieve dreams and goals. I mean, you might not get to those big, big dreams, but this is the year to just really get into the habit of getting there, you know, accomplishing those small tasks that you've been saying for the last two to three years, you know, crossing those things off, checking those boxes off, uh, you know, whatever. That's what I feel like. Maybe I'm projecting. Maybe I am projecting. Maybe I'm saying that because that's what's happening for me right now currently in my life. But, hey, obviously my cup overfloweth and I'm here to poureth. And whoever's cup needs to hear this or whoever's cup needs it right now. But outside of putting yourself in a really uncomfortable situation, I would like to tell people also, like, if you're going through anything right now, if you are experiencing hardship If you are fighting a silent battle, uh, you know, I would just like to tell you you're not alone. If you're going through a big transformation in your life right now, if you're uh, in a cocoon stage, if you're in a state of isolation and solitude right now, just know that you're not alone right now. And, that you know, it's not forever. I'm not saying it's needed, but sometimes these moments, these seasons, these experiences are needed right now to shine light on not things outside of us, but to really shine light on things within, things that we need to change, things that we need to improve, things that we need to get rid of, things that we need to replace. It's not necessarily something negative all the time. In the moment, it might feel negative. In the moment, it might seem negative. In the moment, you might feel like a villain. In the moment, you might feel like a victim. But at the end of the day, this is where heroes are born. This is where guides are birthed and trained this is where sages you know come out of you know that that path and get to the top of the mountain this is where things happen for us and i think it goes back to being uncomfortable right all these things that i just mentioned traces back to going through that uncomfortable stage in life and for all of us it looks different for all of us for some people it might feel like you know having fun is a new thing For other people, maybe you've been having too much fun and you need to sit the fuck down. You know, for other people, you've been in between relationships for years now. And now you're single for the first time and you can't keep a relationship. And for other people, maybe it's time to fall in love. Whatever season of uncomfortability that you need to go through, stop resisting it and kind of just lean into it. Because until you do you will always feel stuck you will always feel confused you will always feel lost i mean even in the midst of it you will feel all these things but you will feel a sense of confidence because you're aligning with what you need you will feel a sense of encouragement and along the way you're going to find people along the way you're going to experience things that will let you know you're on the right path foot will always be supported by the ground that you step on because you will be stepping on ground you're not just going to be stepping on nothing you're not going to be stepping on air you're not going to misstep The more you lean into the things that you've been wanting to lean into, the more you lean into the things that make you uncomfortable, the more you lean into things that really just are are just a little bit difficult for you to really do. The more you'll learn, the more you will grow, the more you will uh, blossom to the person that you want to be. I guess that's what that was. That's what, what was on my mind today. Because I feel like. I'm in that moment. Like I mentioned, I might be projecting. I'm in that season of like 
just leaning into everything that makes me uncomfortable, which is my solitude, which is, you know, accepting that I'm in a new state, which is, you know, going, which is traveling to a country I've never been before. For some reason, I feared traveling, believe it or not. I had a real sense of fear of like going somewhere and like think something happening or me not being able to get back or X, Y, and Z, me not being able to have fun and all this shit. But um, I've been leaning on faith a lot. I've been leaning on God a lot. I've been leaning on my friends that I've been having for a long time and like, you know, allowing them to be guides in certain areas of my life finally. And, you know, that's another thing. We don't know it all. We don't. And we can't do it alone. You, we need other people for certain seasons in our life and we need other people to help us get over certain things as well. We need other people to support us during moments and seasons of uncomfortability. I don't care who you are and what you think you, you could do. You cannot do this shit alone for real, for real. I don't think anyone has. <laughs>